Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Crazy Factory. So, I just did something stupid. I recorded a whole hour of footage. And I just noticed that those whole hours, I was not recording my microphone at all. So, I just decided to give you guys a recap here. So, what I did is, I was trying to solve my andesite problem. I was trying to get a bunch of andesite to make some create stuff but to get andesite uh you can either sieve for andesite pebbles or the thing that i went to is mixing diorite with cobblestone to get diorite you will need nether quartz and cobblestone and to get nether quartz you will need to sieve a lot of soul sand that's why i created this uh, create mechanism which will turn regular sand into soul sand and then the soul sand can be sifted inside the sieve next i created the tinker smeltery and to do that i needed a lot of seared bricks which you can get only by bulk hunting nether bricks which you can get by bulk hunting bricks which you can get by smelting clay wall which you can get by putting dust inside water and i also discovered something about this you don't need a full barrel of water to make clay out of dust. You only need a tiny bit. That's why you have this setup and you have a bunch of dust. You can just spam right click this and you can get a lot of clay easily. Okay, that's it for the recap. Next, I'm trying to get this forgotten metal for netherite scrap and crushed netherrack. For that, we will need a bunch of netherrack. And to get the nether rack, I will need to make a lot of nether wards, combine it with cobblestone, and turn it to nether rack. I'm currently figuring out on how to do that. So my idea right now is making a bunch of nether ward blocks, which I believe can be grown from crimson fungus, which I'm currently trying to get by bull counting red mushroom, which I'm currently trying to get it off brown mushroom blocks with mycelium spores and witch water and then i'm also getting more witch water putting the brown mushroom block in instead to get the red mushroom block and i should get the red mushroom okay brown mushroom blocks let's get more water oh that's fast okay got my red mushroom block now, if I remember correctly, I just need to break it. Okay, there we go. One red mushroom. I will need to somehow duplicate this somewhere. Uh, let's place it here for now. Can I grow this? Yes, nice. Let's get some more. That should be enough. Okay, now let's try to bulk hunt one of this and we should be able to plant this somewhere no hold on okay turns out you can place it on dirt let's see if it grows uh let's move it away will it grow it's not growing. Turns out you need Crimson Ilium to grow this, and I have no idea how to get it, so this project has been scrapped completely. Let's get let's get back to farming. I uh, will make farm for Nether Ward. Wait, create. Okay, let's prepare. What do I need for farms? I will need some mechanical harvesters, which will need iron sheets and andesite alloy and casings. Let's make this farm, uh, I don't know, let's plan this out. So I will need some mechanical harvesters. I will also need slime. I will also need interfaces. And I already have the water wheel, maybe a clutch, a lever, and wireless redstone if possible. Oh yeah. Let's try this one. Is that it? 
or super glue maybe okay so let's get the things out of the way one by one let's get all the harvesters we need first and the side casings i will also need my hammer some iron i will make three for now you have this nice now let's get the glue which can be created with dough and lime dye i just found out this recipe you can actually put red mushroom inside witch water and you get slime block instead so no more mills dough and lime dye let's get my red mushroom get the bucket there we go slime block very easily that's out of the way let's get some super glue which iron sheet and iron nugget super glue done let's get the storage interface portable storage interface done shoots are also done next is the clutch is that all the redstone i have okay clutch is done lever and next is the redstone transmitters i will need some quartz and a bit more redstone i don't have enough redstone i'm going to get more redstone i will be right back i got the redstone dust let's make four torch one transmitter and one receiver let's see how this works Okay, I will need a linking tool. Seems easy enough. Got the linking tool. Let's try this out. Right click from two. Oh, that looks nice. Okay, what about directly? Okay. We'll use this then. I think that should be everything. Now that I have everything ready to make a farm, let's make the place for it. I will be continuing down this road and we'll branch off somewhere to clear the platform. I've created a platform here to put the farm in and I decided to put the generator inside another island on the side. So this will be filled with water wheels that will be used to power the farm here. I am planning to expand this upward so this can be expandable and I will use this bottom part as storage for all the items that this farm. Let's get to building the farm then. First let's get the generator running. And it is done. I've only put one water wheel for now. I will add this more later. Now we can just put some shafts and try to align it in the middle. Just this one. And then we put a vertical gearbox here. Should now point up. Forgot one last thing. Mechanical bearing. Yes. Oh, that's pretty cheap. Okay. We should have everything now. Okay, so put a clutch. And then a bearing. And put a receiver. Or no, do I need a receiver here? I don't think so. Well, I don't think I need a receiver. Just put a lever there. Let's put a chassis here. And see if it turns... Okay, nice. Let's try putting in some soul sand. Planting some nether warts. Also with the slime ball and the harvester. Let's see how it looks like first. Let's put in some soul sand. I think this is it. 
So put glue. Ah, yeah, knew it. Let's use the right. Should be able to control this. Two, three. Okay. And then put the harvester. I think I can add more. It's going the wrong way. <laughs> Wait. It doesn't use the super glue and it works. Yeah, this should cover all of it. Let's test. Oh, you can't bone meal this. Okay, let's continue. From the back, I will have an entrance or somewhat platform here per floor to do ma some maintenance here. Yeah, I think they will do. Next, I will implement a shoot system. So I will need a bunch of shoots. So I will have portable storage interfaces always on the top of the tower. And I will transfer the items from the side. A chest here. And I will also have the chute that goes all the way up. And on the top, I will have another chassis, climb ball, this, and have a portable storage interface facing this way. Now this should hug and you should transfer the items down. Let's test it out on some easily plantable crops. Uh, there we go, it's transferring it. We should see berries inside this barrel. Yes, there we go. Berries and nether warts. So it is a success. I'll let this run for a long time. And we should be able to get a lot of nether wart by then. Well, that is it for this episode. Thank you for watching and have a good day.